Hi everyone, I'm David from David O Yoga, and it's day 10 of your 30 day yoga challenge. So today we've got a 20 minute morning flow for full body fitness. And in this practice, you'll find some other elements from different strength training and interval training programs added in to give you a full body workout that's fun, easy on the joints, super safe, and super effective. Let's begin in a comfortable seat. You can sit with legs crossed or up on your heels, rooted to the ground beneath you and nice and tall through your spine. So lift your heart, lift the crown of your head. Close your eyes. As you inhale, breathe in through the nose, lift the shoulders up to the ears. And a big open mouth exhale. <sighs> Let the shoulders fall away from the ears. Sit tall. And breathe normally in through the nose, and out through your nose. Invite yourself to be fully present. Let this time be all yours. Relax your eyes, your face, your cheeks. Feel all the muscles of your face. Release tension. As you inhale, blink your eyes open. Let's make your way to child's pose. Bring the big toe mounds together, knees wide. Reach your hands forward. Get a great big stretch. And as you exhale, let the forehead softly come down all the way to the mat. A couple of big full breaths in through the nose, out through your nose. Maybe rock a little side to side across the forehead. Relax into the upper body. Walk your hands over to the right, place the left palm on top, get a big stretch through the left side of the body, and as you exhale, dip the left ribs down, lift the right ribs up, deepening into the twist. Inhale, come back to center. Walk the hands back through to the other side, and this time right palm comes on top. Again, a great big stretch. And as you exhale, dip the right ribs down, lift the left ribs. Mm, that feels good. Stretching across the shoulder blade and the ribs all the way down to the right hip. Inhale, level it out. Bring your hands back to center. And then lift the hips off the heels. Reach forward into puppy pose. So crawl the fingers forward. Get a nice big stretch. And as you exhale, let the heart melt down, opening across the collarbone and the chest and the shoulders. You can look forward here if it feels okay in the neck or look down if that's better. Bring a little more weight to the index fingers and thumbs. Feel the upper back broaden a little bit here and continue to melt down. Inhale, walk your hands back towards you. Just do a few mindful cat cows here. So grip the mat, wrap the elbows in, and as you inhale, push the heart forward, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, round and flex, push through the mat into the earth, draw the navel in. Inhale, elbows wrap in, heart moves forward through the upper arms, and exhale, round and flex. Couple more times like this, big, full, deep breaths. Big, exaggerated cat-cow motions, feeling that wave ripple through the spine. We're opening the upper back. We're linking the breath with movement here. One more time, big breath, heart moves forward. And exhale, round and flex. Nice. Tabletop, curl the toes, lift the hips, and push back downward, dog. We'll take a few breaths here as we usually do, just dialing in a nice strong downward dog base. Pedal the feet, bend one knee, draw opposite heel down and stretch across the back of each leg from the hips all the way down the hamstrings to the calves and the heels. And then coming to stillness, wrap the elbows in, press into the index finger and thumb. Great big breath in, open mouth exhale. Ha. <sighs> and slowly walk your feet to your hands. Feet a little wider than hip distance here. Grab opposite elbows, bend into the knees, and just sway side to side. Relax and let go. 
with the hands float down to the mat and wave up the spine, keeping the knees bent until you rise all the way up to the sky. Reach through the fingertips. And bring your palms together. Draw hands to the heart. Anjali Mudra. Close your eyes and just take a few moments here feeling yourself fully present in your body, alive with your breath, rooted to the earth, crown of your head reaching to the sky, heart open. Great big breath, blink the eyes open, reach up tall, and exhale, swan dive, empty and fold. Halfway lift, we'll step the left foot way back into a long, low lunge, and now straighten the front leg and fold over that straight front leg for floating splits or floating hanumanasana. So this is kind of like pyramid, except the back heel is lifted and all 10 toes are facing forward and the feet are kind of like in a crescent lunge line. But the hips are still squared to the front of the mat. And if you have blocks for your hands, really nice to help you get some length in the spine. Reach the heart forward and just melt over that extended front leg. Breathe. Breathe into the places you feel sensation. As you inhale, bend into that front knee, low lunge, and we step back plank pose. Wrap the elbows in, bringing more weight to the index fingers and thumbs. Draw the navel in, and as slow as you can, come down to your belly. This negative resistance is eccentric movement, and it's wonderful at building full body strength. Untuck the toes for cobra pose. Slide the hands back, press the heart forward, and exhale slowly lower. Hips to heels, child's pose. Come forward, tabletop, curl the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. As you inhale, come to the balls of your feet. Exhale, bend knees, look forward and step or float. Feet to hands, halfway lift and fold, empty the breath. Bend into the knees, wave up the spine. As you inhale, reach tall into the sky, big breath. Palms meet, slice right down through the center line of the body and fold. Halfway lift and step the right foot way back to a nice long low lunge. And from here, straighten that front leg, keeping the back heel lifted and fold. Now, if you're prone to hyperextension in the joints, maybe just bring a little micro bend to the front knee and fold. Again, blocks for the hands are nice here. Nice and long spine, so keep reaching your heart forward, reach the crown of your head forward as you fold. And draw the outside of that left hip back to square the hips up to the front of the mat. It's a really nice hamstring stretch. It also gets into the IT band, into the hips here. So breathe into those places. As you inhale, bend it to the front knee. Low lunge and step back plank pose. Again, wrap the elbows in, more weight to the index fingers and thumbs. Drop the butt, spine gets nice and long and then slow as you can, lower all the way down to your belly. For another cobra, untuck the toes, hands slide back, press and lift the heart. Squeeze the shoulder blades, exhale, bring it down and then back to child's pose. All right, let's sit back on your heels. We're gonna work with something called Hindu push-ups. Uh, I love bringing in other traditions, other strength building, full body strength building, interval training, and traditions that help build functional strength. And this is one of the best full body functional strength exercises. It's a modification of Hindu style push-ups and it looks like this. I'll show you the move and we'll all do it together. So we start in a downward dog and then we come forward to the knees and to the forearms and elbows. From here, you shift forward into Chaturanga, staying on the knees, lifting the toes. Chest is lifted, but the, the triceps are parallel to the mat. And then from here, straighten the arms, lift the heart. Come all the way down, toes come down, and either push up and back to downward dog or move through child's pose, back to downward dog, and then we begin again, okay? That's the move. Now, if you wanna go full ninja on me here, you can, you can keep the knees up, and that looks like this. From downward dog, you simply come to the forearms and the elbows, you 
glide forward into chaturanga. Inhale as you straighten the arms. Exhale, lower halfway, and then a push up back to downward dog. That's challenging, right? So if you wanna play with the challenge, try that one on. I'm gonna be doing the knees down version because that's probably what most of y'all are doing, but play with this, be curious, have fun. Okay, here we go, starting in downward dog. We come forward to the knees and elbows. Shifting forward into chaturanga, lift the toes and the triceps come parallel to the mat. Chest is lifted. Straighten the arms, open across the collarbone, lower all the way down, the toes come down and either push up or sink back to child's pose and back to downward dog. Again, knees and elbows come down, shift forward, chaturanga, the toes lift. Straighten the arms, open across the collarbone, lower all the way down, the toes come down and either push up or child's pose back to downward dog. Nice, two more times knees and elbows, shifting forward, chaturanga. Straighten the arms, open the heart, come all the way down, and then push up or child's pose back to downward dog. One more, you got it in you, I know you do. Knees and elbows, shifting forward, chaturanga. Straighten the arms, open across the collarbone, lower all the way down, and either push up or child's pose, back to downward dog, woo! Good stuff, right? Walk the hands all the way back to the feet, bend into the knees, and wave up the spine. Hands to the hips, awesome work. All right, now we're gonna work with something called Hindu squats. And these are really cool too, great full body functional uh, strength training. They look like this, feet hip distant apart, as you exhale, you sink down into a squat and lift the arms straight in front of you. You're sinking weight into the heels and the knees are behind the toes here. You're getting nice and deep, so thighs are parallel to the mat. And then as you inhale, the arms stay extended until you come all the way up and then they drop. So it's a one, two, three to come down. One, two, three to come up. All right, let's do it together. Sinking down for one two, three, nice and deep, hold, press through the heels, rise, two, three. One, two, three, knees are behind the toes, one, two, three, awesome. One, two, three, sit deep, one, two, three, two more. One, two, three, weight in the heels here, one, two, three. Three, and this time we come all the way down, two, three, and hold, thighs parallel to the mat, weight in the heels. You can see your toes in front of your knees. Awesome, inhale, rise up, one, two, three, whoo. Hands to the sky, big breath, exhale, swan dive, fold. Walk your hands to the top of the mat for downward dog. Feet together, take the right heel up to the sky, extend through the heel, and squeeze the knee into the chest, wrap the elbows in, come forward into plank, keep hugging the knee in. Step through between your hands, low lunge, wing the arms back and send the heart forward. Inhale, take the hands to the sky, crescent lunge. Engage, skin to muscle to bone in that left thigh. Bring more weight to the front foot and we glide forward, one leg mountain pose. Extend the left foot, point the toes, holding, breathing, right into tree, vrikshasana. Sole of left foot inside that right thigh, palms come to the heart. Find your happy place here, and then sweep the hands behind the low back. Interlace the fingers, draw the knuckles down, and begin to lift the heart and open into a little back bend here. Now, if you fall out of this, it's no biggie, you just come back. Push your heart up and draw the shoulders back. We're opening the upper back. As you inhale, take the hands back to the sky. Extend that left leg, point the toes, and we glide all the way back to a nice strong crescent lunge. Big breath, reach up. Exhale, twist to the right. Flip the front palm, take it up and back. Right hand alongside the back thigh. And then windmill the hands down. Frame the front foot. Step back, plank pose. 
roll through a vinyasa of your choice, halfway or all the way, upward dog or cobra. Open the heart, lift the hips and push back. Downward dog for another round of Hindu push-ups. Oh yes, we're going there again. Here we go. Knees and elbows come down. Shifting forward to chaturanga, lift the toes. Straighten the arms, open across the collarbone. Come all the way down, toes come down and either push-up or child's pose back to downward dog. Beautiful work. Knees and elbows come down. Shifting forward, chaturanga. Straighten the arms, open the heart. Come all the way down, bring the toes down and either push up or child's pose to downward dog. Two more, knees and elbows. Shifting forward, chaturanga. Get nice and low, but the chest is lifted here. Push up, straighten the arms, come all the way down. Toes come down and either push up or child's pose, downward dog. Last one, knees and elbows. Shifting forward, chaturanga. These are so good, right? Straighten the arms, open the heart. Come all the way down. And either push up or child's pose to downward dog. Walk the hands slowly back to the feet. Bend into the knees, wave up the spine. And another round of Hindu squats. Here we go. Bend into the knees, reach the hands forward. Nice and deep, feel the weight in the heels. Inhale, rise. For one, one, two, three, as we lower slowly. One, two, three, as we rise slowly. One, two, three, for a hold. And one, two, three. Be mindful as you come down, shifting weight into the heels. The knees stay back of the toes. Rise up. Two more. Here we go, nice and deep. Coming all the way down so the thighs are parallel to the mat. And then rising up. Feeling a little bit of sweat coming on now. Here we go. Dip it down for the last one. Sit low. Feel the burn. Stay for three, two, one. Inhale, rise up. Hands come to the sides and then they sweep to the sky. Swan dive, empty the breath. Forward fold, walk the hands forward to a downward dog. Feet together, take that left heel up to the sky, extend it through the heel, knee to nose, squeeze it in, wrap the elbows in, shifting forward to plank, keep hugging the knee in, and then step through, low lunge, lift the heart off the front thigh, wing the arms back, feel the strength and energy of the heart alive, inhale, take the hands to the sky, bring more weight to that front foot, and we glide forward into one leg mountain pose. Extend the right leg, point the toes, hold the hips level and lift that right foot nice and high. Awesome, right into tree pose, pose rikshasana. Sole of the right foot inside that left thigh, palms come to the heart. Relax the shoulders, focus your gaze, your drishti on something stable and then sweep the hands behind you. Interlace the fingers, draw the knuckles down. Begin to open the heart into a little back bend here. Breathe, allow yourself to play, to experiment, to explore. And then as you inhale, release the bind of the hands. Take the right toes and extend, lift, breathe. And let's float all the way back to a nice deep crescent lunge. Big breath, reach high. Exhale, twist it open to the left. Ring the core out. Flip the front palm, we take it up and back, staying nice and deep in that front thigh. Windmill the hands down, frame the front foot, we step back, plank pose. Slow as you can, lower all the way down to your belly. And when you get there, let out a great big ha. Ah. <laughs> Let's hug the earth, cactus your arms, draw the left knee up toward that left elbow, and rest your head, close your eyes. Just take a few breaths here. Let everything slow down, settle. Feel the weight of your body melting into the mat. Just surrender to gravity here. And now let's melt away some of those Hindu push-ups with a good stretch in the chest, the shoulder. So 
Keep the right elbow bent. Move the elbow, right elbow, forward of the shoulder. And then draw the right knee up underneath the left. So the knees are bent here. Push into the left hand to deepen a little bit. Yeah. And then just let the forehead come down. Take a few breaths here. This is so, so good. If you've been practicing with me, you know I like this one. I keep coming back to it just because it feels amazing. And it helps us to breathe more deeply. It opens up all those channels through the chest, the shoulder, the neck. And all those places that get really tight when we sit a lot, when we're not as active as we could be. And let's take the other side. Roll to your belly. And bend in two. The left elbow, move that left elbow forward of the shoulder just a little bit. Draw both knees to a 90 degree bend. And then push gently into that right hand to deepen the stretch. And breathe. Let yourself relax more deeply into each breath. So if you want to dial up the intensity here, you just press a little bit more into the right hand, roll a little bit more to the left side, and it doesn't take much to feel that. Feel the deepening and the expansion of your breath here. As you exhale, roll to your belly and sink your hips back to your heels and let's find child's pose. And sit back to your heels. Sweep your legs around in front. Make your way all the way to your back. Take the feet up in the air, happy baby. Grab the outside edges of the feet, close your eyes and let's rock a little side to side. Breathe in this moment. And as you exhale, release the feet and find Shavasana. Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Ritchurma Amritam Gamaya No 
begin to bring some movement to your fingers and your toes, your wrists and ankles. As you inhale, take your hands overhead and stretch and breathe and wiggle your fingers. Feel your senses, every cell in your body renewed. And exhale, draw knees into your chest. Roll to your right side. And press yourself up to a seat. Palms come to the heart. Sit nice and tall. Close your eyes. Let's raise our thumb knuckles to the point between our brow and we bow to one another. Namaste. Thank you. I really enjoy sharing these practices with you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and ring the bell so that you're notified when new videos arrive. It really helps to support uh, this channel. It supports me so that I can keep giving you these videos, which I love. And if you would like to keep this practice going with a little bit more cool down, a little bit more uh, melty love, um, click the yin practice next to me. You'll enjoy it. Thank you.